building these ATMs here to train people on all the skills that go into it, which can be applied to any industry, really. You know, you don't have to settle for being, you know, a piñata maker, which is fine. You know, it's good. But if you want to be... Good job for you, Joe. Piñata maker. <laughs> Well, but if you also want to work in, in high technology, I mean, you don't have to think about, you know, I want to expand my horizons, I need to go out of the country. No, you know, we can create those kinds of industries here in El Salvador. I don't know if you guys have been to the Grove in Los Angeles before, but it's this big outdoor mall. And uh, hey, we're at the La Grande something here in El Salvador. It's the same thing. Olive Garden <laughs> right behind me. And Joanne wants to go look at Ban Ban. Hey, man. Yeah. Their whole case has bees, I think. There are bumblebees in there eating all the sugar. <laughs> so pretty soon, every single one of these locations is going to be taking Bitcoin. And that includes Papa John's. So if you want to get Papa John's with Bitcoin, you're going to have to come down to El Salvador. So in front of us, they have all these ATMs, and I'm sure one of them is the Bitcoin ATM that Noe is talking about. So here we go. Right there is the Bitcoin ATM in El Salvador, one of many. Look at this, it's called Athena. So you're gonna start seeing these everywhere all over the country because people are gonna to need to be able to get cash, especially people who are not able to go to a mall and afford Zara. People who are living in the countryside are gonna rely on ATMs just like this in order to get money out. So Noah is showing us the fees to use this. It's 50 cents plus a 5.7 on top of it to buy Bitcoin. And to sell it, it's 50 cents plus a 5.2% fee. Oh, expensive, much money. All right, so let's try it. We're gonna try this machine out. So here's how it works. Bitcoin, oh, it even says Bitcoin Beach Wallet. It has its own QR code. Now remember, we're far away from the Bitcoin Beach. Well, not that far. We're in San Salvador. This is not the Bitcoin Beach, but uh, you can use your Bitcoin Beach Wallet here. So you can uh, buy coins, withdraw cash, or redeem. Let's try buy. How much would you like to buy? one to eight hundred dollars or eight hundred to ten thousand dollars so i'll do a small amount phone numbers only have a ten thousand dollar daily transaction limit so let's see enter your phone number and then you get a text i won't let you see my phone number to people watching sorry one six two six five continue transaction so look at this the coins that you can buy in el salvador are bitcoin litecoin ethereum and bitcoin cash that's cool I wonder if they're going to be using Bitcoin Cash more in this country because their ATMs have it. So I'm going to buy some Bitcoin Cash. Look, it can even scan your QR code. So I'm going to open my Bitcoin Cash wallet. Here's my Bitcoin Cash QR code. So I'm going to go ahead and do scan wallet. All right, so that worked. So let's see how much money I have. All right, I have $20. So I'm going to put in $20 US and we'll see how much Bitcoin Cash I get. Here we go, cash in. All right, there it is, it just came in. So out of putting in $20 US, $18.60 out of it. All right, so we know with this machine, uh, I put in $20 US and got 1860 Bitcoin Cash. So now what I'm gonna do is try the whole thing again, but uh, with Bitcoin instead of Bitcoin Cash. So here we go. Fix my hair and the reflection there. All right, so we're gonna buy coins. All right, I put in the $20 and finish. Oh, wow, that's instant. It came right to my account. I didn't even have time to show it. All right, so there is the Bitcoin. I put in $20 and I got 1836 back. They must think I'm part of a television show. So some people are watching, and of course it's El Salvador, people have a hustle here, people wanna make money. So they're watching and they're like, hey, pay me $20 and I'll put money in and then go spend it somewhere. And you can watch me and put it in your video. And they're like waiting for me. I have talked about in my Bitcoin Beach video how you're able, or at least citizens of El Salvador, are able to exchange their Bitcoin to US dollars using their um, app, their country government controlled app. There's basically a trust that's been formed in the government that will allow people to swap their Bitcoin BTC for cash. Anyway, that's kind of interesting to see how they're doing it here. Again, I'm very surprised that Lightning is not on this uh, machine, but Bitcoin Cash is, Litecoin is, and then of course, Ethereum and Bitcoin. Noah is helping everyone learn Bitcoin on the ATM right here. That's pretty cool. So anyway, here we are in El Salvador, one of the coolest places to come see where they have Bitcoin ATMs and they have everything. So, oh, um, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing I'm not allowed to film, so I'm gonna turn the camera off. Look at that view out there. That's beautiful. Edgar, right? Yes. 
Edgar. So Edgar has invited me to come here and also invited you guys to come here. You have a school here, right? Yes, we do. We are exposing the students to, you know, the new way to, to pay, the new way to do business. Uh, they will be learning and they will be using the kiosks and buying Bitcoin or just, you know, selling their Bitcoin if they, if they have some. But they will also learn the, that the skills that they're learning here, like working with, uh, for example, soldering, uh, met sheet metal, or uh, painting, uh, also electronics or robotics, which are some of the skills we, we train them here, that they can be used for more things. You're very good at making teal structures. Well, you can also make robots, you know, uh, with those skills. Maybe you're good at programming. You can program an app for your phone, but you can also program a device that is uh, a commercial revenue source for another company. So we're trying to expand possibilities for them. So they're actually building these kiosks from scratch. Exactly. And setting them up. That's right. And if you look behind you, we have some of the prototypes that we built uh, first in wood, then uh, we built some metal prototypes and we've been progressing. Now we're using 3D printers to build some components. That's amazing. Uh, we're building a, a robot metal metal cutter that we'll be using to just manufacture these uh, in batches. Right across the room we have a, a, a training where we have five 3D printers because we're training students on how to design and how to print pieces that can be used for many applications and this is one of them. So could you tell me a little bit about what your school is and why you're doing this? Well, the purpose of the school is to we, we work with different groups of people. The main group we work with is youth that have already completed high school but do not have uh, a job yet. So the government has a programs or different programs where they can learn skills uh, from, well, we have from, for example, from carpentry, woodworking, masonry, but also techno technology skills like robotics, software development, community management for uh, social networks, 3D printing. So we are trying to create new industry. You know, you don't have to settle for being, you know, uh, piñata maker, which is fine, you know, it's good, but if you want to be... Good job for you, Joe. Piñata maker. <laughs> that sounds fun. It does sound fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, but if you also want to work in, in high technology, I mean, you don't have to think about, you know, I want to expand my horizons, I need to go out of the country. No, you know, we can create those kinds of industries here in El Salvador. Yeah, well, it's standing right in front of me. That's incredible. Exactly. You're building these ATMs here to train people on all the skills that go into it, which can be applied to any industry really but the ATMs themselves uh, what is happening with them are you putting them in locations or are you taking them apart and rebuilding them what what what, what happens with the ATM itself well we actually developed them I mean even before the, the news for Bitcoin came, came about because well we just found out that we'll be using Bitcoin maybe two months ago a little bit more we had been working on this uh, so that they could be uh, a way to automate business processes uh, some of the applications are for example selling uh, prepaid phone balance. A lot of people here have one or even two cell phones. We have more cell phones than people in El Salvador and most of them use prepaid phones. So right now if you want to buy prepaid balance for your phone you have to go to the store, you know, find someone who sells it. We want to set them up uh, as an automated solution for that but also for paying for utilities, paying maybe for a bus card that you know uh, that in the future could, could happen. You know, we're trying to create those new opportunities uh, also for banks or financial institutions if they want to automate. Many banks here have AD ATMs, but they may have one ATM per branch in the bigger cities because it doesn't make financial sense for them to have several ATMs or to have them in branches that do not have that, that many transactions. But if we create the technology locally, we develop the industry locally, we create jobs and we develop the country as a whole. So is this unit here working right now or is this a demonstration unit only? This is a demo unit, but it's already working with Strike. Okay, with Strike. Ingresa tu número de celular. And then your cell phone number. Wow. Why do you choose Strike, Bitcoin, Tether, and Ethereum? Why, why those specific cryptos and not other cryptos? Well, right now we are uh, in the process of adding more options. Strike was the first one that was mentioned officially here that was going to be one of the main ones in El Salvador and it's growing. But other cryptocurrencies are also gaining ground uh, like Bitcoin Cash or the Bitcoin, uh, the, main, uh, the main blockchain as well. So we will be adding more options. Right now you only see four here on screen, but it's, you know, it's a full 
touch screen so we can add 20, 30, wow. just as many as are needed and we're integrating through uh, APIs so we can add more cryptocurrencies. One thing that makes our kiosk different or our ATM different is that you can buy crypto in coins. So if you want to deposit you know a quarter or maybe a dollar coin which are very common here uh, you can do it you can buy just one dollar of uh, bitcoin cash or you can also make a withdrawal in coins four dollars and fifty cents you know maybe that's not enough to go to a normal atm it's enough money you know for you to buy lunch it's enough money for you to go and take the bus whatever you want to do so you can make a withdrawal in coins and you can get 450 out of it what impresses me about this so much is that you had the foresight to start developing this concept before bitcoin was official in el salvador before it was announced more, I, I wouldn't say it's foresight. it's more like taking on a challenge you know the challenge for us is for el salvador to 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 jump start its own industrial revolution it's a big challenge i know but we want to be part of it so we want el salvador to create technology we want salvadorians to feel you know it, it doesn't have to be imported from Europe or from the US or from Asia. It can be made here in Central America. That's why we have been working on creating technology here in Central America. And we want to see this spread and more people. You know, we want to see factories and we want to see competition, you know, because it's boring to play by yourself. So we want to, we want to see the technology industry develop in El Salvador. It was great meeting you, man. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Where can people find more about your school and what you're doing? Well, uh, you can find about us, uh, find information about us on social media, on Facebook. The Facebook page for the school is just Capucom, C-A-P-U-C-O-M. That's the name of the school. And we have, as I mentioned, like 40 to 50 different kinds of courses and they are coming up all the time. And if you want to find more information, find out more information about the kiosks. Uh, we're also on Facebook as K1 El Salvador, and that's the name of the kiosk, K1, and that's where we keep publishing uh, all the news. All right, guys, you have to admit that was absolutely incredible. I had no idea that this was gonna happen, that they are actually manufacturing their own Bitcoin ATMs and training people on how to use them not a place where they're training the next generation of El Salvadorians to be able to create robotics, welding, computer systems, and also learn about cryptocurrency. I'm just so happy and thrilled to see what they're doing here because the education is the most important part. I want to thank everyone at the school. It's whole hand now. And Joanne is going to be staying here. I stay here only if they take Bitcoin cash. Listen, you'll stay anywhere they have rice. <laughs> They don't have rice here. Don, Don Lee has rice. They eat plantains and beans. No rice. 